Right, hello everyone, my name is Chris and I write the astronomy software here at Attic Cameras. Now today I'm going to talk to you about a new application we've created called the Attic Air. Now this application will allow you to use your Attic Cameras and filter wheels across your Wi-Fi network, all using a standard Ethernet cable. Now the main advantages of doing this are, firstly, it will help to reduce the number of cables you've got going between your equipment and your PC. And this will help tidy up your cable management. But it will also help to reduce the amount of weight that you have on your telescope, which should improve the performance of your tracking. Uh, secondly, it will get around the USB length issue, which means you can have your PC much further away from your equipment than you had before. And thirdly, because we've written everything on a Raspberry Pi, it means if anyone has the ability to write their own applications for Raspberry Pi, they can share them with everyone else and help to improve everything. In fact, we've created a group on our forum especially for this, so if you do have any ideas, feel free to share them on there. Okay, so before we get started, you'll need to get hold of a few things. First of all, you'll need a Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, if you don't know what these are, they're just mini computers with a built-in Wi-Fi and also an Ethernet port and four USB ports for connecting equipment. To power it, it's just a mini USB power supply. And you'll also need an SD card. It needs to be at least two gigs in size in order to do this. Uh, now you also need to download and install the latest core installer. And if you're going through this example, you'll need a SD card writer as well in order to do this. Now this guide will show you how to set up your Raspberry Pi from scratch. Now if you already have a Raspberry Pi, you can, and just want to install the Attic Air on there, you can do that as well by following the advanced guide that's also included in the core installer. But for this guide we're just going to go through the simple installer as that's much easier to go through. Okay, step one. The first thing you need to do is set up the SD card and in order to do this you'll need to download the Attic Air image from our website and you'll also need some SD card writing software. I'd recommend using Win32 Disk Imager as it's free to download and use. Okay, once you've done that, just put your SD card into your SD card writer put that into your PC. Once it's connected you're likely to see a couple of uh, dialogues like this if you just close them, just close both of them. And then go ahead and just open up the Win32 disk imager. Okay so once you're there you'll see this is the program itself. If you get this folder next to the image file text box you can see I've already downloaded the Attic Air image in my downloads there, so I'll just select it, click open. Then next to that it says device, you'll see that mine says F, just ignore that. I mean, if you've got more than one SD card right, it won't make a difference. But Once you're ready, just click right, and then click yes. It'll take a little while to, to install, it may take about two or three minutes. And once it's done, then just click OK. And then that should be it. Okay, now that your SD card is set up, you can just remove your SD card writer, take out the SD card and put it into your Raspberry Pi. There's normally a silver connector on the back that you just plug it into. I should just slide in like that. Okay, next you just put in the Ethernet cable, like so. And then connect in the power cable. Like that. Uh, it normally takes 30 seconds to a minute to power up, but you can feel free to put in your camera now, it doesn't really matter. And then you're ready to move on to step two. The next thing you need to do is open up the Attic Air application on your PC. Now this will just be in the start menu, all programs, then Artemis CCD, and then finally Attic Air. The program looks like this. So you see at the top here we've got local, that means it's looking for cameras connected to your local PC. Underneath it says remote and that's looking for stuff on the Raspberry Pi itself. You'll see that it says not set at the moment. That's because we haven't set up the Raspberry Pi. So in order to do that, just click find Pi. This will then scan your network and it might take a few minutes to go through all the combinations. But once you're finally there, it will then display you a list of different network connections that are available to the Raspberry Pi. So you'll see at the top of the list, it will always say Ethernet, and this means a direct connection for your Ethernet cable to Raspberry Pi. If you just want to stick with that and you don't want to set up a Wi-Fi for it, then just highlight that one and press the select button. However, I'm going to show you how to set up the Wi-Fi. So in this case, we want to select our Wi-Fi network. You'll see next to it, it says password true. That means it needs a password in order to do it. So you click the select button, you enter in your password, and then you press OK. 
So then it will take you to this screen where it will just say connecting. And again, it might take a couple of minutes before it's finally ready, but once it's done, it will say connected like that. Then just click finish. This will take you back to the first page and you'll see now that remote's been selected. And now though it says available, which means everything's set up and everything's working properly. So now we can just try, so if we just open capture, But here we go, we can see this is Capture and it's now using an Infinity camera that's actually connected to the Raspberry Pi instead. So there's a nice picture of our ceiling, as you can see. Now if you want to go back to using uh, cameras connected to your PC, just click Local. You'll see at the moment I don't have one, so now it's connected to Local, the Capture won't connect. And also point out that if you try to open Capture and you click Retry, but then select Remote and press Retry, it won't load up. That's because Capture is already available and it's still looking at the old connection, so you have to restart it and then it should be there. So that's the setting up stage. You can take images like you would normally with any of the astronomy programs. Once you're finished, you can click this Shutdown Pi button. It's not necessary, but it's a bit safer to do that. Then it will take a few minutes to shut down. And once it does, you'll see that it's not available again. Okay, so that's how to set up and use the Attic Air. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please feel free to write comments and ideas on our forum, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.